gonna tell you about what happened to me this morning. I woke up and it was really cold. I was shivering, I was freezing, there was icicles hanging from my nose. So I stood in the corner. I really warmed up. It was 90 degrees. That icicle melted right off of my nose. Tastes so bad either. A man wakes up early and kisses his wife good morning and goodbye. He makes a thermos of coffee, a thermos of hot soup as the car is warming up, packs his fishing gear, proceeds to drive to the lake for some ice fishing. And as he drove down the road, he realized visibility was horrible. He thought this is really too dangerous, so he turned around and went back home. Quietly tiptoeing, he re-enters the house, crept upstairs, stripped down to his long johns, and slipped into bed and nestled beside his sleeping wife. Sleepily, she said, I didn't expect you so soon. He whispered, freaking blizzarding out there. It's a mess. And his wife whispered back, yeah, can you believe it? My idiot husband is out there fishing right now. Midnight struck. Midnight striking dawn. Hell's bells. Pay the bill. 24, 7, 52, 365. Decades pass, bye-bye, it's the freeway of my life, as I slowly watch it go by, mewling and puking, as Shakespeare said, soaring high and soaring low, the whining schoolboy, as the hands approach, handsome innocence, and the reaping hour never slows, cradled coffins, way too early before dawn, lordy, lordy, the clock has struck, time melted into a dismal dawn, midnight striking dawn, the darkness fades away, in the distance, hell's bells, it's time to pay, they're paling now, the bell tower pales through the fog, the tolling chimes, they call for us all to pay the price. 24 over 7, 52 over 365. We struck out in this game. Decades have passed, but the bill keeps coming due. Bye bye to our youth. We're on the freeway of life. Mewling and puking in the nurse's arms. We're trying to survive, but the clock keeps ticking as we soar high, 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 and fall so low. The whining schoolboy we once knew, so innocent, so handsome, so true. But as the hands approach, we face the reaping hour, our cradled coffin way too early before this hour. Lordy, lordy, we're just pawns in this game of time. Time's so plastic. Decades have passed, but the bill is due. Bye-bye to you. We're on the freeway, mewling and puking, just trying to survive. But the clock keeps ticking as we soar low and high. The hands of time, they never stop. Bye-bye to our youth on the freeway of life. Mewling and puking, we're just trying to stay alive, but the clock keeps ticking as we soar to high. The clock has struck, the time no doubt has come. We can't turn back, this journey we've begun. Time has melted into the strike of dawn, and we'll keep going until the time is gone.
sure all of us now, we probably have some drumsticks and a little bit of breast and some dark meat and some wings in the freezer from all that turkey on Thanksgiving Day. Well, I'm going to tell you a story about a guy who buys a parrot and he gets home with the parrot and discovers that it won't stop cussing. It won't stop freaking cussing. And after a few days of embarrassment and covering his kid's ears, he threatens the parrot. I'm going to send you to go live in the freezer if you don't clean up your act. And the parrot is all upset. And he went through the whole S's and F's and all of the alphabet, rattling off every cuss he could think of. So off to the freezer goes the parrot, and the door slams shut behind him. About five minutes later, the owner's cooled off and figures the parrot has too. He takes the bird out of the cold and puts him on his perch. The bird just sat there, dead silent and shivering for a minute or two or three or four, and the owner shrugs it off and lets the bird thaw. But when he comes back fully to life an hour later or so, the little guy's sitting there just shaking off the last of that shivering, speechless act. And now the owner felt kind of bad. Felt kind of bad as the fireworks went off. What's wrong, buddy? And the response was, it's hard to think of something nice to say. And the parrot, still shivering, looks at him with fear in his eyes and says, what did the turkey say? You're listening to 91.5 WRPI Troy, hanging out with the idiot emeritus, the dude. I'm a masochist. There is nothing I love more than getting up at 3 a.m. in the morning for a cold shower and an ice bath, so I don't. Now, my wife left me a note on the fridge, and it said, Not working. I can't take it anymore. I'm going to my mom's. Confused and extremely worried, I slowly opened the fridge door. The light came on. That was a good sign. And the beer was cold. What the heck did she mean? Ran out of cord.